into Unit 3, photoconversion. Photoconvertible fluorescent proteins exhibit a shift in excitation and emission spectra, usually from green to red after illumination with a near UV wavelength. Non photoconvertible fluorescent proteins that shift from green to red include Chidae, Dendra, and EOS FP, all of which were derived from chlorose. They contain a chromophore derived from the tripeptide histidine 62, tyrosine 63, glycine 64 that naturally emits green fluorescence. This chromophore is converted into a red state by a light catalyzed cleavage of the polypeptide backbone. In addition to green to red photoconversion, there are also red to green, such as Katusha and MK, and orange to far red, M orange 1 and M orange 2, variants that could provide more possibilities for different labeling combinations. These proteins can be imaged in their native emission state prior to photoconversion, making it easier to identify and select regions for optical highlighting. Thanks to their properties, photoconvertible proteins are useful tools for protein trafficking studies, as well as cell lineage analysis and in vivo cellular tracking. Fluorescent proteins such as GFP or MSHRI are classical powerful tools to visualize cellular components in living cells. However, there are circumstances when these classical fluorescent proteins reach their limits. For example, to highlight a spatial limited protein populations to assess trafficking or degradation cannot be achieved using common fluorescent proteins as they are expressed throughout the entire cell. Using photoconvertible proteins allow us to select and highlight a subpopulation and monitor the changes in their localization over time. Similarly, to label a small group of cells to visualize their morphologies or observe their migratory behaviors within living tissue could require complicated and time-consuming cloning strategies to obtain stable transgenic lines. And even then, to distinguish a small group of cells from its sister of the same origin might not be feasible with a transgenic line. Photoconvertible fluorescent proteins can provide an easier approach to these challenges. Here is an example of using photoconversion for in vivo imaging. This is a section of zebrafish petrofin tissue at 28 hours post fertilization. The embryo has been injected with NLS EOS mRNA one day prior to this experiment at one cell stage. Using a confocal microscope, we selected and illuminated a region of interest containing cells that we wish to photoconvert using a 4 or 5 nanometer laser. The photoconverted red state EOS is stable and irreversible, which facilitates cell lineage analysis. To sum it up, photoconvertible fluorescent proteins provide an alternative tool to classical fluorophores. Thanks to their shift in excitation and emission spectra, they are particularly useful in the absence of stable transgenic lines to highlight different cell populations, as well as in highlighting different subcellular components.